if it's a turbo and you are running gasoline, same fuel, um, the cross-sectional area, the average, the mean cross-sectional area, as well as the localized velocities do not change in the intake port. And I always describe it this way, and I'll explain why here in a little bit. But an NA engine, that that airspeed in the in that system, whatever cylinder head would make the most power on an NA engine will make the most power on a turbo application in its exact form. No valve change, no cross-sectional area change, no exhaust change, no exit speed, nothing. If the inlet temperature is and the pressure ratios are stable. Even, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there's a lot of caveats here. But given one to the other, on a turbo gasoline burning engine, there's no need to change anything except put an incremental exhaust valve in there and make sure you have beryllium or copper alloy seats to withstand the heat. And the guides and the exhaust need to be either stainless or tough mat.